you for listening to this broadcast on TWR. Please join us again every Monday to Friday at 14.30 hours coordinate universal time on 9965 kilohertz. Again, that's Monday to Friday at 14.30 hours coordinate universal time on 9965 kilohertz. You're listening to TWR. Thank you and God bless. Hello, welcome to Dutch's Daily, your five minute weekly DX Digest produced and presented for Transworld Radio by your friend Arun Kumar Narsaman from Chennai, in India. As you all know, this show has been on the air in KTWR for over a year now. This five minute weekly DX program is broadcast every Sunday in KTWR from the beautiful island of Guam in 15205 kHz DRM mode at 1500 hours universal coordinated time. As radio hobbyists, DXers and short wave radio listeners, you all know the role of transport number, SFI forecast and A index in radio broadcasting and listening. The transport number this week is 32, SFI forecast ranges from 94 to 96 and A index ranges from 8 to 12. We have information about radio broadcasting in the Philippines. According to information available on the Philippine Broadcasting Service website, during World War II, the U.S. Office of War Information set up a radio station with call letters KZSO inside a U.S. Navy submarine to send messages and update information on the progress of the war against Japan. The station played a vital role and contributed largely to the early occupation of the Philippines by the U.S. Armed Forces. This 50-watt portable radio station later found its way to the Philippines when U.S. soldiers landed in Lungyangan Gulf during the first week of February 1945. KZSO was alongside the American soldiers as they reached Manila. The radio broadcasting board created on September 12, 1947 took charge of the administration and operation of KZFM. On January 1, 1952, the board was abolished. In its place, the Philippine Information Council was established. In compliance with the resolution approval at the International Telecommunications Conference in Atlantic City, USA, all radio stations in the Philippines will adopt the letter D as the first letter of their call letters. That KZRM became DZFM. DZFM acquired a new 10 kilowatt transmitter in 1958. The old 5 kilowatt transmitter was used to establish a sister station later known as DZRM together with the shortwave stations DUH2 and DUB4. Thereafter, it was therefore necessary to adapt a new name for the mother entity of the radio stations, which gave birth to the umbrella organization called the Philippine Broadcasting Services. When martial law was declared in 1972, PBS was abolished. The NMPC operated the Voice of the Philippines, VOP, on both medium wave 918 kilohertz and shortwave 9910 megahertz. In 1980, the NMPC acquired DWIM FM, presently known as DWBR 104.3 megahertz. At present, PBS, BBS owns and operates radio stations nationwide with DZRB, Radio, NG, Bayan, Manila as its flagship station. Several DXs have posted information online that Voice of Greece has stopped its shortwave service recently. According to a post in the SW Link post, Voice of Greece had had its broadcast on 9420 kHz, but they've been off air for over two months. Voice of Greece joins the list of few radio stations which went off air in shortwave. The Australian government is all set to undertake a review into the potential restoration of Australian shortwave radio broadcasting capacity in the Pacific region. Mr. Tony Walter, Director, Pacific Strategic Analysis Section, Australian Government, in a reply to Mr. Jerome Van Der Linden on July 26, 2022, has said that the Australian Government will undertake a review into the potential restoration of Australian shortwave radio broadcasting capacity in the Pacific. In close consultation with key partners, including the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Australian Broadcasting in the Pacific is a unique and important avenue to advance Australia's relations in the region.
friends, you have come to the end of the program now. As in the past, I request you to send our listeners' logs, band scans, research and reports, views and opinion about the program to dxsdiary at gmail.com. Please keep encouraging us by sending our research and reports regularly and we'll acknowledge your research and reports with a QSL card as early as possible. Until next week, this is your friend Arun Kumar Asiman signing off. 73. Bye-bye.